Uh, the big winner in the Dow today was Walmart. In general, utilities and consumer staples did okay today. Intel was the biggest decliner over in the S&P. Campbell Soup, the big winner. Uh, we'll have more on that story in a moment. And Carnival, we just spoke to the CEO there. They were the big loser. Tech, the worst performing sector overall, after reports that the U.S. could restrict Chinese investments in U.S. tech companies. Uh, names that got hit included Micron, NVIDIA, PayPal, Intel, and Google. Mike, what do, what do, what do we know now on the close after uh, speaking with Mr. Navarro that you, know, you think explains the markets all day? Well, first of all, I do think that the reports definitely were core. The reports of some kind of restrictions on Chinese investment overnight yesterday were definitely triggers for some weakness in stocks. I think the idea that technology was not going to be impervious to a lot of these concerns about trade frictions did get some selling going. But I also think much bigger picture, it just chased some hot money out of some areas that looked overheated, right? Uh, it wasn't the idea of restrictions on Chinese purchases or investments that has the Russell 2000 underperforming the S&P today, or that has Netflix, which has no Chinese business, down 6.5%. So you had a combination of some overextended technology and growth strange. sectors and this idea that maybe the trade issue is just an ongoing thing. I think that's one thing investors don't like. There's no process to handicap. It's just kind of this thing. You just keep getting new volleys of kind of aggression on both sides without really it seeming like it's building toward any negotiation. And we spoke with Mr. Navarro about this about half an hour ago. Here's exactly what he had to say that keyed off, as you mentioned, the comeback in the late session for stocks. There's no plans to impose investment restrictions um, on any countries um, that are interfering in any way with, with our country. Uh, this is not this is not the plan. Uh, all we're doing here with the president's trade policy is trying to defend our technology when it may be threatened. So this whole idea that somehow there's going to be investment restrictions to the world, please discount that. He was pretty clear, Lizanne, but when we discussed it a little bit further, it didn't sound to me like that possibility was off the table entirely. It sounds to me like it's not happening right now. Uh, what are your thoughts? Well, I did listen to most of the interview, and I agree with you. I think the first uh, comment that he made in that conversation sounded definitively like that that was not a proposal. But then, uh, Kelly, when you asked him about what was discussed with uh, Secretary Mnuchin, he said, yes, it's one of the things on the table. So I, I think there's still some questions that we have right. to answer here. I, I would agree with Mike, though. I think in particular because of some technical triggers that hit today, more so on the Dow uh, coming through its 200-day moving average, even though that doesn't incorporate a lot of the, the FANG and FANG-related companies, it was a trigger for some concern, and that may have caused some, uh, some technically-based selling, which in turn, I agree with Mike, uh, is, is about where profits had been. So I'm not sure yet the concerns on, on trade are specific, the recent concerns on trade are specifically a referendum on whether it's consumer discretionary or the technology stocks, that's just where the yeah. huge gains have been. So that's the quickest place to take some profits. And Kerry, at the lows today, the Dow was down 9% from its late January highs. The Nasdaq, though, less than 4% from the highs that we saw it hit uh, just, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, in fact. So are you seeing a Netflix down 7% and saying that's an opportunity? Or, you know, in other words, does this make sense to you or no? I think it makes perfect sense at the end of a quarter. The S&P is up about 3%, but if you look at the groups that have been really outstanding this quarter, you can point to energy up 10%, technology was up 7.5%. Netflix, let's be clear, was up 100% year to date, yes. 100%. <laughs> So a 6% decline in Netflix is just a tiny drop in the bucket, and let's not cry for that stock. Um, uh, you know, I, I see this as uh, many of us in the investment business who see end of the quarter profit taking and perhaps a little bit of window dressing if you've had a very strong quarter and there's some fear about tariffs and a trade sort of retaliation process. Why not take a little money off the table? That starts a bit of a cascade. But as you saw, we did not close at the lows of the day. The market had a little rally at the end, and I find that uh, we, yeah. you know, we should be comforted from it. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.